astrological update for Aquarius for the whole of August. We kick off on the 2nd with a new moon. As you probably know if you've listened to me before on a monthly, I do love a new moon. It's about surrendering, letting go, releasing the baggage of the past and having a new cycle and actually shifting our energy to the next level. And for you, this is all about relationships. It could be that you've ended a relationship but now you're ready for a new beginning or you having a new cycle in a relationship coming up but it's also great to kind of cast out your desires to the universe when it comes to love because great healing great transformation great beginnings are happening to you when it comes to love thanks to the new moon we then have mars shifting signs and it's going into your position of collaboration and networking but it's giving you great energy I must say a little warning here though, if you find yourself in a crowd of people and they want to do something dangerous, like they want to throw themselves off a cliff with just a crisp packet as a parachute, don't do it. And you might think, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that. But trust me, the, the, the sense of tribe and unity with people is going to be so strong and, and egging people on and danger may be involved in that because Mars is, you know, a daring planet. Keep, keep yourself safe and, and just put your fire and your passion into doing things in a group, but avoid any aggression, particularly when it comes to groups of people. We then have Venus, the planet of love, shifting signs. And there's slight danger here that you may become obsessed with someone and just feel overwhelmed. Or there could even be the temptation for an affair or a flirtation, which you know in your heart is perhaps a little bit naughty. But certainly your desires and your, your, the past is, is being stirred deep within your soul and possibly your loins. We have Venus squaring Mars on the 6th. Again, it could be that you go somewhere, you meet someone in a group and you're like, oh, you know, we've got a connection. What can I say? I don't know what the message is. Only you can decide what you're going to do about that. We also have Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, going ahead. If you've been tied to a group, tied to people, and you felt that you've had a lot of old responsibilities connected to a network of people, a group of people, or, or a kind of even a social group, suddenly you have been thinking about how can you transform that, how can you change it, now Saturn's going to help you, it's going ahead, and you will be able to commit to a new group of people and a, and a new kind of energy that you feel much more confident with. Mercury is conjunct Jupiter on the 22nd. It's a time of power. How, do, how powerful do you feel at the moment? Do you feel powerless or do you feel powerful? This connection is giving you the opportunity to speak and your words have a massive impact and you have the chance to step back into your power when it comes to communication. Equally, the sun is entering that position. So everything has a depth. You're very much a psychic detective um, this month. You feel everything on a deep level. You know what's going on. You know other people's fears and weaknesses as well. But use that energy wisely. Use that energy with compassion. Because frankly, we are all the walking wounded in one way or another. Now, when Mars is conjunct Saturn on the 24th, it's great to, again, have a commitment with a group of people. And on the 27th, Venus and Jupiter are conjunct in your position of passion and power. And there could be a peak experience of sensuality, it could be a great healing of, a, of an old wound connected to your sexuality, but whatever it is, it's deep and it, it ends up being great for you. We have Venus shifting signs on the 10th, which lightens things for you and suddenly you feel excited and adventurous and eccentric and, and, and wanting to explore love in a, in a new dimension. Finally, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going retrograde. And this gets a bit tricky because it's in that position of power and powerlessness. You may decide to have a conversation with an ex-lover from the past and it could get pretty intense. There may be communication problems to do with something connected to power or powerlessness in the past. So work on those issues of, of power and powerlessness within yourself and your shadow side before that happens and then you can turn it into mining some treasure from your unconscious mining some treasure from your past and even from a past life actually it's that deep and intense 
I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, check out my website where I've got some free interactive readings, michellenight.com, uh, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. And if, if you love this and you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you did. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.